Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. We will begin, per usual, with our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come into your holy presence asking that you forgive all of my sins, that you cleanse my heart so that my prayer may reach your throne of glory because we magnify and we praise your holy name every time that we come into your presence, Lord. We come humbled. We come asking that you look past, beyond our flaws and our wrongful ways, Lord, asking that your love make a clean slate out of us every single time because we can sin even with our thoughts, even when we don't want to, Lord. Our terrible nature gets in the way, but your love always comes through, and your Holy Spirit reminds us in those moments that what we have to do is simply get on our knees, come to you in gratitude and humbleness and repentance, Lord, in all the good things that please you so that you can fill our hearts so that you can make us that better person. Lord, we pray that you take care of all of your children, that you care for us wherever we are, wherever we go, wherever we may be, that our words that we speak may be full of your truth, may be backed up by that Holy Spirit, Lord, that our actions can say more as well, that we can preach not only verbally, but with the way we walk, the way we talk, the way we bring ourselves about, Lord, that we can manifest and truly reflect that we are children of God, that your mercy and your love can be spread throughout our lives, to our co-workers, to our friends, and even to our family members and our brotherhood in the church, Lord. We never know what somebody can be going through, what somebody can be experiencing at a certain time. Lord, everybody has their own battles and their own struggles, so help us all be helpful to one another. Bless us through this devotional and through everything that you give us. And we pray for all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, My God is Faithful to His Promises. Written by Andy Rodolfo Chachiote, translated by Nelson Baides, and taken from the book Mesa de Fe, page number 95. Our biblical base is found in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. So says the word of God, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Amen. May we be blessed through the reading of his holy word. My God is faithful to his promises. From the beginning of creation, the scriptures reveal to us a God of promises, faithful in fulfilling his sayings. No matter how much time passed, he never forgot his promise. Sarah herself laughed at a certain moment, believing herself incapable of having a child. But the Lord did not take long to show her his power and fulfilled what was promised. The people of Israel spent many years as slaves in Egypt, but despite the time that had elapsed, 
God fulfilled his word by giving them liberation. Abraham also received a promise, and although he did not live to see it fully fulfilled, today we are witnesses of the crowd that forms his descendants. Even today, by receiving Jesus in our hearts, we have a promise of salvation that awaits our soul. Christ promised that he would return to seek his redeemed people, to take them to heaven for all eternity. So no matter what we have to go through here, let us continue to persevere in the way of the Lord, remembering that the blessing is for those who have maintained their hope in the God who has never failed his word. Amen. May God receive all the honor and the glory. And just this past uh, couple of days, I had a small rash in one of my foot, one of my legs, and it was so painful and bothersome. And it was only there for say about a week at max thank god it's now healing and everything is going back to normal i have no idea how i even acquired it but i just prayed to god i put a little bit of ointment and i was just praying lord you heal me please but it was so uncomfortable it was so painful and something that you wouldn't even think would be so uncomfortable so painful and I just thought and at one moment, my goodness, Lord, your son Job was full. His entire body was full of the most horrible and painful sores that one could possibly imagine. And he endured. And I have this one little rash and I'm dying. <laughs> no, not really. But, you know, I was just like, no, this is crazy i can't be complaining i can't be losing my faith and and thinking that it's all gonna be over and it, and that's it uh, <laughs> have letting my hypochondriac antics get in the way but um what i'm trying to say is if he that had all these problems and situations but he was a prime example of perseverance and believing and trusting in the faithfulness of God and his promises. We have um, a countless examples, as the article mentioned, of those men and women of faith that persevered in that constant belief in God, even if they didn't see the promises fulfilled themselves or as the word says just seeing them from afar but to me job is that prime example of perseverance and my brothers and sisters today the holy spirit god's voice continues to encourage us and to remind us that he is there no matter what we are going through no matter if it's something small or something bigger something that has been going on forever or something that just begun a trial that is just beginning my friends, we cannot lose hope. We cannot give up because God is on our side. The God who was with Abraham, the God who was with Sarah, with the slaves in Egypt, and with Job, that amazing man that God set apart. He was with them and he will be with you and I as well. So we cannot lose hope. We cannot give up, my dear friends. We just have to keep seeing the invisible, keep seeking him, and keep trusting that he is always faithful to his promises. Amen. May he receive all the honor and the glory. I pray, my dear friends, that you are blessed through this devotional and that your day is full of that faith, that you are, that you are enveloped in that trust, in that dependence on our God and Creator. And before we end this session, I kindly invite you to go to our YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading so we can continue being 
fed and nourished with his beautiful word. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. This was your sister, Gaeli Castaneda, hoping that you have a fabulous day.